Oh, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh, what the? Good morning. It's time for fish. Getting everything loaded into the boat. We get the jigs. All right, well, I'm all right. And we uh, turn this off. And we're out on the road at 420. Blaze it, boys! 420. 421. Make sure you go to the toilet before you go fishing. You can see them in the bushes. You can see there's a couple of blokes over there getting their cray pot sorted. Just give them a little yell. Hang on fellas. Can't hear me, that's alright. <laughs> that sun's about to come. Cheers. Over the sand is there. Absolute curl of the morning. No wind at all. Can't wait to get out there. Get some dogs. Oh. Where are we going first? We're going to go on there. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh crap. Beautiful conditions out here. Glaciers. Just about to bait up. We usually always start with pilchards. We find that they're the best bait to start with. Straight through the eye, holds quite well. Then you want it back up near that backbone there. That should hold pretty well. And then with the tail, through the bottom of that tail, back through again. All the lines down. Had a couple little nibbles, but nothing substantial. Oh, <laughs> big. No, it's small. Yeah, I got a Just gotta wait until we On the get some of these bigger fish around. We're just getting some wrasse. Which is a fish, but it's not what we want. Yeah. You can see the swim bladder? It's been blown up because it's been pulled up too fast. You can also see here, this is why we use circle hooks because it catches them just in the lip, which makes it a bit easier to get out, hopefully. Yep. Still got a bit of pilly. See the swim bladder here, it's broken. So if that happens, especially on these fish, you want to just pop it. And this is this is good for the fish by the way, this will help it survive. So then hopefully let's pop. And then it'll be able to swim. Oh, then it'll be able to swim back down. If you don't pop it, it'll just float on the top. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you'll see. <laughs> Really that swim bladder heals really quickly, but you can see it, it can go straight, it goes straight back down, back down the bottom. You can see the bubbles coming up because that's the air being released from it. Perfect. If, that, if that's... Oh, another little fish. See, that's a big one. <laughs> Could we be on? Oh, I like that. Oh, that's good. It's good fish. What is it? Can't see it. Keep going. It's a, it's good nanny. It's good nanny. Maybe. Keep. Yeah, it's good. It's a really good nanny. Oh, it's a snapper, maybe. Oh my god! Get the net. 
<laughs> okay, that was good then. <laughs> yeah, nice. First nutty. Get the net. Oh, we should have netted that. Yeah, we got it. That's good. Um, do you want to get the, do you want to get the gloves? That's massive. That's huge. Good, Rebecca. Oh, Oh, that's nice. 50, 50, 50, 57. Fish on. All right, fish on. It's all happening. Nanny? Nah. Yeah. We're getting a little bit excited, that's all right. Seven and win. All right, go finger mark. Big boy. Big boy from Big Girl. <laughs> It's big. Oh, it's de no, it's decent. It's just heavy. Hey. He said he's about to change the jig because he didn't like it. He's got a nice leather jacket. Foul hooked. Foul hooked leather jacket. It's good. Oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Oh, what the? That's a huge shark. I think I'm a shark as well. Dude, that thing's massive. That thing's huge. What was that? That's massive. Need it. I'm not going to pull that in. Dude, it's got my lure. <laughs> huh? Whoa. Oh man. That was massive. Did you get it on GoPro? Yeah, I took the jig with me. Dude, I had something big. Huge. Do you see that? Should be that shark was. That was you still got it, don't you? What the f What happened? Into systems. Good. <laughs> Can't swear on camera. <laughs> He's taking you for a little ride. Big nanny. That's good. Pretty good. Oh, they look cool, hey. Harlequin fish. <laughs> Put him back to safety. Yeah. Oh, it's, on here. oh. it's a dead shark, I think. Let's go back to it.
almost finished up, about to head back home. We've got a friend here as well. Hey mate. Got a bit of leftover bait here that we'll feed the little pelican with. Here mate. Bit of squid for you mate. Here we go. Alright, ready? Well, it was a good effort at least. Oh, he doesn't want it. <laughs> oh, we'll give you something else, mate. <laughs> it wouldn't take. See if he likes a little pilchard. Here you go, mate. Still upset with a squid. Ready? Oh, nice catch. Back. Just got back, just unloaded the boat, unloaded the car. Car's looking fresh. Josh is just giving, giving the boat a good rinse and he'll run some water through the motor in a second. Wait, you don't. <laughs> and um, just about to do some fiddling out the back here. Just wipe the camera, gotta be wet. So we only got the four Nanaguai today. We got a heap more, but we decided to only keep how many we needed. We got a heap the other day, so we thought only take what you need. Just the four of them, two big ones, and a couple of smaller ones there, but still still quite nice size. Some decent size looking fish there, so that's all we need. That'll give us a good feed. Just got the little filleting set up here. Got a spare knife. Uh, got my new filleting knife here. Probably the most important thing about filleting is having a really, really sharp knife. Got a container just to put the fresh fillets in. Got the nanoguy, of course. Got a bag for the offcuts, and then just got a bit of salt water, which is really important, um, just so we can wash the fish afterwards. It helps preserve it, and also helps it taste better if it's washed with salt water, as opposed to fresh water. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm about to fill up the Nanaguay, one of the best tasting fish. A little tip when you're filleting Nanaguay, is there's a lot of meat which is up in this um, up in its upper head part um, so you want to make sure that you get as much as that as you can some of the nicest meat as well that's a huge huge slab of meat there obviously got to cut off a few parts debone it but you get a heap of meat off these guys Now we're up to the skinning pump. First thing you want to do is you want to make a little cut here so you've got a bit to hold when you're going to be skinning it. Just like that. So that's the part you're going to be holding just out, just there. With one hand you want to be holding it. With the other hand, make sure you've got a sharp knife and basically you just want to make a bit of an indent and then your swinging motion of the hands and holding the knife there should be enough to simply just rip the flesh off. And that should come off pretty easy there. And there shouldn't be too much flesh left there. You can simply just throw that in the off-cut bag. Once you've taken the skin off, the last part uh, for Nanagai is obviously for all fish you want to debone, uh, debone them. But to make it easier, we usually just cut off this part here. Then we cut it in half and just get rid of the backbone. You can manually try and pick out all the bones. But if you've got a heap to fill it, um, sometimes it's just a bit easier to do it that way. Once you've got your fillets, guys, just want to give them a bit of a rinse in some salt water. We'll either eat these shortly or we'll either vacuum seal them and just keep them in the freezer so they're preserved for the next few months for a bit of a feed. Thanks for um, watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.